I came in faster than I thought I would. <laughs> you know what one of the most frustrating feelings in the world is like, and I'm like, if, if you were to go check rankings, this would probably be close to number one. And if you're here, that means you just went through it. Your airdrop is not working. You're trying to figure it out. It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't show up. What do you do? There's a few different reasons why this could be. And hopefully in this video, we're gonna solve it and you're gonna go home a happy camper with proper airdrop working and you're gonna sub to the channel because we just helped you out. All right, let's get it. All right, step number one. First thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that both the devices that you're trying to do this transfer on, so whether it's a Mac or whether it is an iPhone, you wanna make sure that the airdrop is set to allow other people to recognize that device. Here's what I mean. First thing you wanna do is you wanna go into your settings menu here. Here you're gonna go into general. When you go into general, you'll see this option here called airdrop. We're gonna click into airdrop and then you wanna make sure that everyone is checked over here. Because if you have receiving off, then your airdrop is not gonna work, period. And if you go contacts only, that means that only if the person is in your contacts, they're gonna be able to see you and recognize you. But keep in mind, there is a slight problem with this as well, so you gotta be ready for that. Which is a possibility, like if you're in public spaces of like creepers like randomly airdropping something to you. Uh, yeah, there's been a lot of shady stuff that has been airdropped. But something to keep in mind, if you turn on everyone, you might wanna turn it off or something like that when you're not using it. Just so you know, viewer discretion is advised. Okay, for the next step, let's say you're using a Mac. This is how you do it on here. So you're gonna go into your finder. Your finder usually is gonna have this right here in your favorites, it's called AirDrop. And then once you're there, you're gonna see this option right down here, you see this? Allow me to be discovered by, and you're gonna change that to everyone. By doing so, then you are going to be discoverable. So hopefully that helps. If it doesn't, then watch for the next step. Now for this next one, it could be a one-sided issue. What I mean is let's say your Mac is able to discover your phone, but your phone cannot discover your Mac, and you're not able to transfer anything from your phone to your Mac. In that case, it could be a firewall issue. Okay, so again, we go back to our Mac. We're gonna go into our system preferences. In system preferences, you're gonna see an option called security and privacy, and then we're gonna click into the firewall option above here. Now if I have my firewall turned on my phone may not be able to recognize my computer and you can check this out by turning off firewall on your computer and see if it recognizes on your phone after doing this if your phone is able to recognize your Mac finally then there you go you know that was the issue it was a firewall that was blocking it um, and hopefully this resolved it just make sure you go and turn your firewall back on for safety reasons as soon as you're done doing this Okay, so you've checked both methods and for some reason you're still having issues. The next thing you can do is you wanna to toggle your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on and off. Uh, in case if there's any bugs or anything like that that is preventing your AirDrop from recognizing your other devices. The easiest way to do this is instead of going into like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and turning each thing on and off, I just go into my phone and turn on and off airplane mode. So by doing this, you're refreshing your signals and hopefully your AirDrop should start working now. If not, there's another thing you can try. Now the next thing you can do if it's still not working is maybe check if your device is too far away from the one that you're trying to connect to. Then what we're doing is making sure that there's no other interference or anything like that that is causing uh, the airdrop to not pick up on either device. So try bringing them closer to each other and if that still doesn't work, then your next option is pretty much one, Check if there's any software updates because sometimes there's like bugs and stuff like that. And last but not least, if it still doesn't work, then your next option is to hard reset. So you wanna press the power button as well as the volume up button and press and hold it until you see this. And then you're just gonna to slide to turn off the phone and then you're gonna turn it back on. And hopefully by then, the problems are solved. If not, then your last and final step is to go to the Apple store. It could just be some hardware problem or something like that within your phone. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And on that note, if you find this video helpful and beneficial to you, then please go ahead and like this video. Consider subscribing to the channel because we're on a mission to basically solve global frustration from all issues, period. And on that note, we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Boom.